Have you ever wondered how common English sentences can empower you in your daily communication? These everyday phrases are the building blocks of language, serving as vital tools to express our thoughts, ideas, and emotions. They're like keys, unlocking doors to understanding and being understood. Whether you're ordering a cup of coffee or discussing a complex idea, these sentences form the foundation of effective communication. So, are you ready to dive into the world of common English sentences? Scene Script Starting with the first set of common English sentences, repeat after each sentence to improve your pronunciation and understanding. Let's dive in. 1. Good morning, how are you? A classic greeting to start your day. 2. Can you help me please? Politeness goes a long way when seeking assistance. 3. What's your name? An essential question when meeting someone new. 4. I'm sorry I didn't catch that. A polite way to ask for repetition when you don't understand. 5. Where is the nearest restaurant? A handy phrase when hunger strikes. Let's keep going. 6. How much does this cost? A crucial question when shopping. 7. I would like a coffee, please. Useful for those early mornings. 8. Excuse me, can I get past? A polite way to navigate crowded spaces. 9. Could you tell me the time? When you've left your watch at home. 10. Thank you for your help. Gratitude is always appreciated. You're doing great. Let's finish this set. 11 through 15 are common responses. Yes, no, maybe, I don't know, I'll think about it. 16. See you later. A friendly farewell. 17. I'm running late. When time is not on your side. 18. What a beautiful day. An optimistic observation. 19. Can I use your phone when technology lets you down? 20. What do you recommend? A question for experts. And to round off, 21 to 25 are basic needs. I'm hungry, I'm thirsty, I'm tired, I'm cold, I'm hot. Great job! You have now mastered the first set of common English sentences. Scene script. Time to move on to the second set of common English sentences. Remember to repeat after each sentence. Let's dive right in. 26. Are you free tomorrow? This is a simple way to ask someone about their availability. 27. I appreciate your help. A warm way to express gratitude. 28. Can you repeat that, please? A polite request when you didn't catch what was said. 29th. Do you understand? A question to ensure comprehension. 30th. Excuse me, can you help me? A polite way to ask for assistance. 31st. Could you speak more slowly? A useful phrase when you're learning the language. We're halfway there. 32nd. How much does it cost? A necessary sentence when shopping. 33rd. I don't feel well. A simple statement when you're unwell. 34th. I'm lost. A helpful phrase when you can't find your way. 35th, it's raining. A basic weather-related statement. 36th, let's go, an enthusiastic call to action. 37th, may I use the restroom? A polite request in public places, almost done. 38th, please speak English. A useful phrase when you need someone to converse in English. 39th, sorry I'm late. An apology for tardiness. 40th, thank you for your time. A courteous way to end a meeting. Last 10. 41st, what's your name? A basic question when meeting someone new. 42nd, you're welcome. The standard reply to thank you. 43rd, can I borrow a pen? A common request in school or office. 44th, do you have a moment? A polite way to ask for someone's time. And finally, 45th to 50th, phrases to express agreement or disagreement. Yes, I agree. No, I disagree. Maybe. I'm not sure. I don't know. And let me think about it. Well done, you have now mastered half of our common English sentences. Now on to the third set of common English sentences. As always, repeat after each sentence. Let's kick things off with sentence 51. Could you please pass the salt? This is a polite way to ask for something at the dinner table. Now let's move on to the next one. I'm sorry I didn't catch your name, a handy phrase when you forget someone's name. Up next is, I'm running late, can we reschedule? Perfect for those unexpected delays. And then we have, I'm looking forward to our meeting. Show enthusiasm with this sentence. Next is, can you help me please? A simple and polite request for assistance, followed by, I'd like to order a pizza. Great for those times when you're hungry and want to order food. Coming up is, I'm exhausted, I need to rest. Use this when you're really tired. Then, could you please repeat that? A polite way to ask someone to say something again. Next, I'm really excited about the trip. Show your enthusiasm with this sentence, followed by, I'd like to make a reservation. Ideal for when you want to book a table at a restaurant. We're almost done with the third set. Let's continue with, I'm not sure, let me check. Use this when you need a moment to confirm something. And finally, I can't wait to see you. 
a sweet way to express anticipation. Excellent, you are almost there, just one more set to go. Finally, we have reached the last set of common English sentences. Remember, practice makes perfect. Let's dive into our final set, starting with number 76. Can I borrow your pen? This is a simple, polite way to ask for something. Moving on, 77. I'm not feeling well today. It's a sentence you might use when you're sick and need to explain your situation. Number 78. Could you please speak more slowly? A very useful sentence when you're having difficulty understanding someone. Next, number 79. I'm looking forward to the weekend. A great way to express anticipation for something. Number 80 is, I'll think about it. A handy phrase when you need some time before making a decision. Let's move to 81. I'd like to cancel my appointment. This is how you might communicate changes in your schedule. Moving on to 82. Can you give me a hand? A casual way to ask for help. And at 83, I couldn't agree more. This is a strong way to show agreement. We continue with 84. I'm running late. A common phrase when you're behind schedule. Then 85. Let's stay in touch. A warm way to end a conversation. We're nearly there. Let's wrap up with the final 15 sentences from It Slipped My Mind to I'll Keep You Posted and finally I Can't Wait. Congratulations! You have now mastered all 100 common English sentences. So why are these 100 sentences so important? Well, they're the keys that unlock the door to effective communication in daily life. They help us express our thoughts, feelings, and desires in a clear and concise manner. Whether you're ordering a coffee, discussing a movie, or sharing a heartfelt sentiment, these sentences are your go-to tool. They enhance your understanding of English in various contexts and improve your communication skills. Remember, mastering these common English sentences is your first step towards fluent and effective communication. Keep practicing and you will surely see improvement in your English skills.